Hi, we are from Atcomputation. In this video, we are going to see few examples on finding missing numbers based on the given pattern and also we are going to find the sum of the odd natural integers. Our first question is using the given pattern find the missing numbers. So, the given pattern is 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square equal to 3 square. Then the next is 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square equal to 7 square. 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square equal to 13 square and the next line is 4 square plus 5 square plus dash square equal to 21 square. The next line is 5 square plus dash square plus 30 square equal to 31 square. The next line is 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square equal to dash square. So you want to find all these dashes that is missing numbers. First, we will observe each line and we will find what pattern it is given. Then using that pattern, we are going to find the missing digits. So, in the given pattern, it is observed that in the first line, it is given 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square equal to 3 square. So, now you have 3 terms on the left hand side. So, 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. So, the third term in the left hand side of the equation is obtained by the product of the first two terms. That is 1 into 2 square. That is 2 square. So, the right hand side in the equation is obtained by adding the 1 to this third term. So, the third term is 2 and 1 is added to this third term that is 2 plus 1 equal to 3. That is our right hand side of the equation. This is what we have first observed in the first line of the given question. So, in the second line it is given 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square equal to 7 square. So, if you observe in the second line also, so the third term that is 6 is obtained by the multiplication of first two numbers that is 2 and 3. So, 2 into 3 is 6 and the right hand side of the equation is obtained by adding 1 to this third term. So, third term is 6, 1 is added to that 6, so it is 7. So, in the third line, it is given 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square equal to 13 square. So, the third term, we will see it is a multiplication of first term and second term that is 3 into 4 equal to 12. And the right hand side is obtained by adding 1 to the third term. So, third term is 12 plus 1 equal to 13. So, let us see what is the pattern what we have observed from all the about three lines. So, now if we what we have observed from all the three lines is, so if suppose we are taking the first term as m square and second term as n square. In the third term what we have obtained is m into n square and that is the left hand side. On the right hand side it is m into n plus 1 square. So, third term of left hand side equation is obtained by product of that is multiplication of first two terms. The right hand side of the equation is obtained by adding 1 to the third term. So, with this pattern we are going to find the missing digits. So, in fourth line it is given 4 square plus 5 square equal to dash square which is equal to 21 square. So, we know that the pattern used is the third term in the left hand side of the equation is obtained by product of first two terms that is multiplication of first term 4 and the second term 5. So, 4 into 5 is 20. So, and on the right hand side of the equation is obtained by adding 1 to the third term. So, the third term is 20. So, if you add 1 to that, so it is 21. So, now it is already 21 is given in the right hand side. Now, let us see how to find the third term. So, third term is obtained by subtracting 1 from right hand side. So, 21 minus 1 is 20. So, then both the cases we are getting 20 as the third term. So, thus the third missing term is 20. So, in the fifth line it is given that 5 square plus dash square plus 30 square equal to 31 square. So, we know that the pattern used in all the previous four lines is third term of left hand side of the equation is formed by multiplying the first two terms. Okay, So, here first term into second term equal to third term. First term given is 5, second term is the one what we want to find and third term is given 30. So, 5 into second term is equal to 30. So, therefore, second term is 6. So, thus the second term that is missing term is 6 in the fifth line. So, in the sixth line, it is given 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square equal to dash square. So, we know that the pattern used is third term of the equation. Left hand side is obtained by multiplying first term on the second term. So, first term into second term equal to third term. First term given is 6, second term given is 7 and the third term is the one what we want to find. 
So first term 6 into 7 is equal to 42 that is the third term. Okay, so here it is 42. Now we will see how to find the right hand side of the equation. So from the above patterns what we have observed is right hand side is obtained by adding 1 to the third term. So third term what we have found out is 42. So now we are adding 1 to that 42. So that will be 42 plus 1 43. So thus the second missing term is 42 and the third missing term is 43. So third term is 42 and the right hand side of the equation it will be 43. Our next example is without adding find the sum. Okay, so the first question given is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9. So if we observe the given numbers, it is sum of all consecutive odd numbers. So here there are 5 consecutive odd numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 odd numbers. So we know that from adding odd numbers pattern, sum of first n odd numbers is equal to n square. So here there are 5 odd numbers that is n equal to 5. So therefore sum of 5 odd numbers 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 equal to 5 square. So we know that 5 square is 25. Thus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 equal to 25. The next question is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19. So without adding all these numbers we want to find what is the sum. So if you observe all the given numbers it is sum of all consecutive odd natural numbers. So here if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 consecutive odd natural numbers. So we know that from adding odd numbers pattern sum of first n odd natural numbers is equal to n square. So here there are 10 odd numbers so we are taking n equal to 10. So sum of 10 odd numbers is equal to 10 square that is 10 square is 100. So thus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 equal to 100. In our next question given is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 plus 23. So if you observe it's all all consecutive or natural numbers it's and it's sum of all consecutive or natural numbers. So if you uh, count all the natural numbers we will have 12 consecutive or natural numbers. So we know that from adding odd numbers pattern sum of first n odd natural numbers is equal to n square. Here there are 12 odd numbers so we are taking n equal to 12. So sum of 12 odd numbers is equal to 12 square that is 144. Thus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 plus 23 equal to 144. So thus without adding all these numbers we have found out the sum. Hope you have understood all the examples well. Thank you for watching the video.